Useful applications for quantum computers, such as medicine and materials research, can only be achieved once we can integrate millions of qubits. But as we systematically develop the technologies needed to scale, sometimes a new scientific idea blooms. We've found a new and unexpected way to control our qubits that is both simpler and faster than before. Our team at Dirac is making quantum computers using the same silicon CMOS factories that make the chips in your phone. Over two decades, we've pioneered the field of spin qubits by confining single electrons in what we call quantum dots. This includes the first demonstration of an accurate two-qubit logic gate in silicon. But in R&D, sometimes the biggest discoveries are the unexpected ones. We were tuning our quantum dots using various devices and techniques when we started seeing something very odd. Normally, we see that the operation speed of our qubits is quite consistent, proportional to the magnetic field we apply. But at one particular tuning, the qubits were rotating much faster. When Tuomo showed me those results, I realized it could only mean that the electron was actually rattling within the dot. But in quantum physics, an electron needs a quantum of energy to move. In our code quantum dots, this should never happen unless they are actually changing shape. As we tune the quantum dot differently, it becomes more squished. At some point, the shape becomes just right for the electron to start rattling within the dot. Then, the qubits can be driven very efficiently with electric fields. We set up a new experiment to test this idea, and it turned out we were spot on. By driving the qubits with purely electric fields, we also achieved the fastest speeds ever recorded for electron spins. And we could also maintain the accuracy of the qubit operations. Our focus at Dirac is on scalability. Historically, local spin control required bulky microwave antennas, or ultimately, millions of micromagnets. As we add more qubits, these start to get in the way. What is brilliant about our new technique is that it simply uses the same wires that are already there to form our quantum dots. If we're going to change the world, we are going to need billions of qubits, and this brings us one step closer to that possibility. Thank you.